This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Upload and Insert an Image Using WordPress. And this is done using version 2.5, or actually 2.6, of WordPress. Uh, the tutorials uh, in most of the McBuzz uh, video site are done with uh, version 2.3, so they're a little bit different you'll notice uh, there is already a tutorial for how to insert an image but that was done using 2.3 so I'm doing an update using 2.6 uh, let's see how this looks here's business blogging 101 and I think we've got a post ready to go here into which we will insert our photo Okay, so I've got a, a post here and I'm going to insert the photo. I'm going to go to my dashboard or admin panel. Go to manage, uh, whoops, pages, which is not what I want. Posts. Open up the post that we want to use. Okay, and I'm just going to click with the cursor. Maybe I can blow this up so you can see it. Here. You can see I've got the cursor in front of the first paragraph. And we'll look at wrapping text around the image as well when we insert it. So I'm going to click at the very upper left corner at the beginning of this first paragraph to insert the image. Um, if you can see it here, it's uh, now in WordPress 2.5 and 6 there's an add media set of buttons okay if I roll over the first one it says add an image that's what we're going to use and there's also add video add audio and add media add media can be used for um, things other than video audio or uh, images like uh, PDF documents or uh, Microsoft Word documents Okay, let's click on Add Image. Okay, and then the Add Image dialog opens up. I'm going to blow that up a little bit too. That gets really big. Okay, so we have basically two choices here. You can see the OR. We can choose files to upload from the computer, or we can insert a URL. That would be an address for an image that's already uploaded somewhere. Okay, we can also click on Gallery or Media Library, but since we're uploading a file right now, we're just going to click on Files to Upload. Okay, go and find the file on your computer, select it, Okay, bring that in, and you'll see now that, let's see if I can shrink this back to where we can look at it. Okay, so the image is of a green door, and the uh, title that's been brought in here is just kind of automatically generated using the file name. So I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, normally, you should uh, try to put a descriptive title in for that image, and that will help um, search engines. And people who use text readers, that kind of thing. Okay, you can also insert a caption which I'm going to do. This image, okay, I call it my sample caption for this image. Uh, and you'll see how that shows up in a second. And then a description, you can insert that. Uh, that's for you to remember what this photo is about. That doesn't show up on the page at all. Okay, and then a couple other options the link URL it's called okay now this is if you want the image to be a link to something you can select that or insert that here okay if you don't want it to be a link you can click on the button that says none I'll blow that up so you can see none okay or it can be the file itself the image itself at full size so sometimes if you bring an uh, image that is quite a bit larger, you might want to insert it at a certain size and then have 
uh, it's set so that you can click on it, it's a link, and then it will open the image as its full size. Um, okay, or you can use a what's called here a post URL. Okay, that would be for any page on your site or somebody else's site. And you can go and get the address for that page and insert it here. Okay, I'm not going to talk more about that right now. Um, other options are alignment. And so right now it's set by default to none. Okay, uh, if I click on left align, which I'm going to do, then the text will wrap around the right side of the image. And then size, I have three options here, thumbnail, medium, and full size. Uh, thumbnail is if you want to insert just a small, uh, you know, version of that image and then make it clickable to see the full size. Medium just brings it in as a, as a manageable size um, so that you don't have to resize it from being gigantic if it happens to be a very large image. Okay, or full size which brings it in at its full size. I already know that the full size of this image is going to fit fine in the window when I insert it, so I'm going to choose full size. Okay. Now, I can either click Insert into Post, which we're going to do, or I could just click Save All Changes, Okay, and that will just keep the photo but not insert it into the post. Okay. Let's click Insert into Post. All right, there it is. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to drag this window to open it up a little bit more. And can you see that the text is wrapping around the right side of the image very nicely? Okay, and that's because we have it set to left align. Um, you can't really see it, but my sample caption for this image is appearing below the image in a very stylish frame, which is super cool nice feature that they added um, to 2.6. Okay, so now I can either view this post, uh, preview it, or I can save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save. So we can see how it looks in the page itself. Okay, that comes in nicely. Uh, come on up there so we can see. You can see my sample caption below the image. You can see that it's clickable, and if I click on it here, then it opens in the window, okay, the, the browser window, but it doesn't enlarge because that's the full size. Okay, now I want to show you very quickly um, how to insert the image if you've already uploaded it. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. So, let's go back here. Um, say that we want to insert a second copy of the image. I'm going to hit return twice and get down there so I can add my image. Okay, I'm going to click on add an image. And I'm going to rush through this because I'm running out of time. but. Okay, now here's our dialog box to insert the image, right? Now I can't choose files to upload because I want to insert a file that I've already uploaded. Okay, so the question is where to find that. Um, I don't want to use from URL, right? I want to use something that is already on the uh, WordPress site. Now if I go to gallery, I can find my image in several uh, iterations here and if I click on show that will show me the image and it will show me the information about it um, but there's no button that says insert into post okay so I have to go to media library click on the media library button then I find the image that I want to use out of all of those in my site that I've uploaded okay you may have to you know scroll around in there then if I click on the show link, I can see the image that I want, and I can also see the insert into post button. Okay, can you see that down there? Blow that up. There's the insert into post button. It's under the media library tab when I click on the link for my image to show that image. 
that I want. Okay, now I can click Insert into Post. And boom, there it is, the second um, iteration of my image. That's how to insert an image using WordPress.